The shape of a bird's beak says a lot about what the bird eats. Whether it's long or short, broad or narrow, each type of beak is perfectly matched to a particular type of food. This is an adaptation that the bird has to help it to survive in its environment. This collection of images shows a wide range of beaks and it will also show you what type of food the bird uses its beak to capture. While we go through this presentation, look at the shape of the beak and think about how does the shape of the beak help the bird to catch its food. This is a broad-billed hummingbird. Look at the shape of its beak. Look at what it's eating. How is the beak an adaptation that helps the hummingbird survive? This is a brown pelican. Look at the shape of its beak. Look at the food it eats. How is the shape of the brown pelican's beak an adaptation that helps it to survive in its ecosystem? This is the great crusted flycatcher. Look at the shape of its beak. Look what it has in its mouth. How is the shape of its beak? How does the shape of its beak help it to catch food so it can survive in its ecosystem? This is a J. Look at what's in its mouth. How does the shape of the J's beak help it to survive in its ecosystem? This is a falcon. Look at the shape of the falcon's beak. Look at what it's eating. Look at how it eats. What adaptations does the falcon have to help it to survive in its ecosystem? This is a puffin. Look at the shape of the puffin's beak. Look at what the puffin is eating. How is the shape of the puffin's beak an adaptation that helps it to survive in its ecosystem? This is a waxwing. Look at the shape of the waxwing bird's beak. Look at what it's trying to eat. How does the shape of the beak help the waxwing survive in its ecosystem. This is a yellow-billed hornbill. Look at the shape of its beak. Look at what it's eating. How does the shape of its beak help it to survive in its ecosystem?